Hello and welcome to the last of our instructional videos on how to identify hominins. These are the last, really four, but I can only fit three of them on my tiny little table here. Homo neanderthalensis. Actually, technically, Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. But all you have to remember is Neanderthals. These guys have massive brains. Look at how huge this brain case is compared to all the ones we've met. These ones actually have a larger, larger brain case than you and I. Yep, their brains are bigger than our own. So, we've got this Neanderthal is actually not technically a fossil. This is a conglomerate fossil, but everybody still has them. He's been broken. You can see his little nose broke. But several things that really stand out as a Neanderthal. First of all, notice the shape of the brow ridge where it dips really big time in the middle here. Looks like an M shape. Second, not only is their nose hugely wide, but it also projects. Look at how far these nasals stick out. And if you connected this nasal spine to the end of these nasals, you just have a huge nose, a big sticking out nose. These guys had such an enormous nose that also, if you look, the angle of their face goes out toward the nose. It's as if I took this nose and pulled it. You're gonna see that same angle and the enormous head shape, head size, in each one of these. So this guy is actually technically not a single fossil. He's a bunch of fossils put together. But this gives you the typical shape of a Neanderthal skull. You still have a brow ridge, though it's not quite as protruding as what we saw with Homo erectus. You don't have that, that kind of uh, keel shape in the top of his head. You see how rounded his head is? It's because it's so big. Everything's inflated on these guys. Let me bring up one more that we haven't met yet. This little fellow. I'm going to set him in the middle now. So now we have three actual fossils. The first one that's been sitting here in front of you this whole time is La Pharisee. By the way, you're not going to have to recognize any of these by their individual fossil names. The only one that you do have to do, well, two that you do have to do that by is Demonisi, whom we met last time, and Homo floresiensis, whom we also met last time. All of these, although I will give you their names, you don't have to know any of the technical names. All you have to know is this one's a Homo neanderthalensis. This one is Homo neanderthalensis. This one, Homo neanderthalensis. And that other one that I just put away, also Neanderthal, Homo neanderthalensis. Make sense? Okay, but I am going to show you how to differentiate the individuals anyway. First of all, the Pharisee here. First, you can see he's kind of a brown color. Kind of a reddish, rusty brown color, and also the infill, the clay that they used to fill him in, is also this brown color. But the most spectacular part about La Pharisee is his teeth. You see all these tooth roots? He looks like he's almost got too many teeth. In fact, he doesn't. What we're actually looking at is the roots themselves. But you can see how he's got this really interesting clown-like look to his teeth. See all those teeth. Look at that. La Pharisee. The next one here is our old man. He's actually sometimes known as the old man. This guy only has two teeth. See him? <laughs> two what used to be canine teeth have been ground down through chewing. He lost all the rest of his teeth. In fact, look at this huge areas back here where he lost all these teeth and everything's just resorbed away. This guy's name, also from France, like La Pharisee, this guy's name is La Chapelle aux Saints, the Chapel of the Saints. La Chapelle aux Saints, also in France. This little guy, this is a child. But you can still see that hugely wide nose, the fact that the entire face, let me 
crop this part. The whole face skews out to this big schnoz that's being pulled forward. He's got nice teeth. He's got all of his teeth. You'll notice not all of them have come in. Look at this. This canine tooth is in the process of dropping. It's because he's just a child. Look at these teeth. Again, the canine way up here. My hand over there without dropping him. And the first premolar are still in the process of coming out of the crypt and dropping, which tells you this is a child. Big things to note. The M-shaped brow ridge on all, all of these guys. The big, round heads. And the forward projection, the pulling forward of all of the facial bones. See how this goes forward at this angle? Oops, let me get my hand out of the way. Switch hands, there you go. Toward the nose and that projecting nose. Look at the way those nasals project straight forward. That nose sticks way out here. We did see a big wide nose with Homo erectus. They had wide noses about the same width as this guy. What they didn't have is those projecting noses and the face, the face bones that all project forward. Homo neanderthalensis.